Pick, Pack, and Ship is a new product enhancement feature in QuickBooks Enterprise 19 that allows you to track sales order fulfillment process. The dashboard for Pick, Pack, and Ship status increases speed and accuracy in order fulfillment. Keep in mind that the dashboard is the same as a QuickBooks Enterprise 18 orders worksheets. Also, invoice orders and non-inventory orders do not display on the dashboard. Before you use Pick, Pack, and Ship, there are a few things to get set up before we start. The Sales Order Fulfillment Worksheet must be enabled in the Advanced Inventory Settings. If you haven't done this yet, watch my video, How to Enable Sales Order Fulfillment and Purchase Order Management with Advanced Inventory. For mobile devices, you will need to have connected at least one MC40 mobile barcode scanner or Android device. To set up the mobile devices, watch my video how to install and link the portable inventory scanner to QuickBooks using your MC40 barcode device. For the Android device, go to the Google Play Store and search for QuickBooks Warehouse Management app and download. If you are not using a mobile scanner, you need to update the PIC information manually. To start, let's go to Customers and then scroll down to you get to the Sales Order Fulfillment Worksheet. The dashboard is your central place to view and manage sales orders. You can quickly see a snapshot of all your sales orders, their statuses, and more. There are tiles across the top. You can select which will filter based on your tile. You can also apply a variety of filters to quickly see just the sales orders you want. The filters are search for a specific customer or sales order. You can have a specific fulfillment site whether or not the order is fulfillable. You can search by date range. The columns on the dashboard provide information and access to many tasks related to fulfilling sales orders. On the Actions tab, there are four options on this drop-down which can be applied to individual sales orders. You can choose to send for picking, send for packing, you can print a shipping label, and you can mark to ship. If I click on the Batch Actions tab, this allows you to select multiple sales orders and apply the same action to them at the same time. There are three options on this drop-down. You can send for picking, send for packing, and these are only items in picked or partially picked state that can be sent for packing, or you can mark as shipped. The Pick Tab Dashboard is your central place to view and manage your pick list. You can easily see a snapshot of all your pick list, their statuses, and more. You can also apply a variety of filters to quickly see just the pick list you want. Choose Customers, then Sales Order Fulfillment Worksheet. Choose the Pick Tab to get to the Pick Dashboard. With these filters, you can search for a specific pick list or sales order, choose a specific site, filter by status, and you can choose a particular picker. The columns on the dashboard provide information and access to many tasks related to picking sales orders. There are three options on the drop-down which can be applied to individual sales orders. You would choose to view the pick list to receive or make changes to the items in your pick list. You can print your pick list to have your picker enter amounts picked manually. Or you can print your packing list which will go into the box ship to your customer.
Once orders have been picked, they need to be packed. The Pack Dashboard is your central place to view and manage your packing list. You can quickly see a snapshot of all your packing lists, their statuses, and more. You can also apply a variety of filters to quickly see just the packing list you want. You can search for a specific pick list or sales order, sort by status, choose a specific packer, the columns on the dashboard provide information and access to many tasks related to the packing sales orders. There are two actions available from the table on this page. You can view the packing list. This allows you to see the details of your packing list. The next action is the print the packing slip. This only shows if your packing list status is updated. The packing slip will show the latest quantity packed. This video is a quick overview to demonstrate the features of sales order management and how it can work for your company using QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum Edition. To watch my free training videos that take you through the entire process from setup to receiving, picking and packing your items, click the link shown below in the description. You will also see the list of videos available to watch. I will add a new video each week to help you get the most from QuickBooks Enterprise. If you are thinking of switching from your current software or have questions regarding your capabilities of your current QuickBooks Enterprise subscription, I can help. Please email me or call with the contact information shown on the screen. Thank you for watching the video on sales order management.